Hey guys, welcome back to Terraria. Today we're going to be looking at the build competition that the subreddit runs. Now, if you want to get involved in the Terraria community, it's a great one, and there's a lot of cool guys doing a lot of cool stuff. One of the places that I like to haunt and check out cool stuff is the Terraria subreddit. That's at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Terraria. Anyway, on that subreddit, they run a weekly competition. It's, it's like a build challenge, and every time it's something different. Now, this week's is something super approachable to a new player. The challenge is to build a cool house on the first night. So you basically get 24 hours until nighttime falls. So oh, let's deal with this slime. So you get 24 hours to build something really cool, and it's whatever you can manage in that time. Now, presumably with a new character, which is going to be tr it's going to be trouble for us because we've only got a copper axe, a copper pickaxe, and a copper short sword. We've got no materials. So we've got no stone to work with. Not even dirt. So you're going to have to gather your own wood, and it's whatever you can scramble together within that first 24 hours. So, the challenge is accepted, and if you guys at home want to enter as well, make sure you check out the thread on the subreddit to see what the rules are, and uh, yeah, you just submit your picture, and they vote on uh, whoever they think is the best submission. So this is something that anybody can attempt without needing a load of materials or mods, or experience with the game. Obviously that's going to come in handy, but certainly you can approach this as a new player, and just, if, you, if you're good, if you're a good builder, if you're talented, if you're artistic, just launch in there and, uh, and express yourself. So we're going to set the time to dawn, and, uh, and we're going to bust out our best attempt at our first Terraria house. Let's do it. Bam! Okay, so it's the dead of night. Uh, I've set the time to dawn to give us the most time to build our thing. We get a whole day, so why not start that day at around 6am rather than midday? So let's see going to bust out the copper pickaxe, and straight away, we're going to be digging, digging some of this wood. We don't have time to get any of the more exotic wood, and I thought about recreating a world until we spawned somewhere that was near to, like, a, a forest biome, so we could get some, um, some mahogany, or even, like, a, a winter biome, so we could get some of those trees, and some more exotic materials, but you know what? I think I want to do something as vanilla as possible, and so we're just going to work with the wood that we get from these trees, and the stone that we can scrabble up and salvage from nearby. Now it's already getting pretty light, so we're going to have some trouble pretty soon. I don't know how much wood I'm going to want, but I don't want to stop digging these trees in case I run out. We're going to need a lot of wood for tables and chairs and uh, and furniture. And furniture is what's going to set our build apart from other people's. So getting this wood is going to give us a bit of variation. This is boreal wood, and it's a much darker kind of texture, so that's going to suit servers quite well. I think especially for the flooring and perhaps the background pillars. We can't use actuators, so we can't use uh, any of those fancy see-through techniques. But certainly a little bit of boreal wood will serve us quite well. In fact, even building your house in a snowy biome or even the desert biome might set your build apart. And um, having your first house be like a desert tent or a frozen igloo might be an interesting spin and might win you the competition. Now, if you do approach this build competition your biggest enemy is time, which means you have to be as efficient as you possibly can be with the time you have. We're going to get some stone, because stone, again, will set our build apart. Now, again, there's all kinds of building techniques that we're going to miss out on. If you have enough time and you do spawn near maybe some iron, then that might be an idea. If you can grab up some iron, that'll get you maybe some chains, maybe an anvil or something, and you can get a nicer looking house. We're going to have to make do with the stone, the boreal wood, and this other stone. We're going to get going. And fingers crossed this is going to be enough to make a nice looking house. Let's try making a furnace, because that's going to be good furniture for us. And it's quite cheap. Excellent! Right, so it's the furnace that's required to make the brick. So we're going to make as much as we can here. 57! So it's not a good use of stone, is it? Well, let's see what we can do. This is going to be our house, and we're going to use boreal wood for the floor. There we go! This is our first house, man. That was quite a quick build, but as you can see, I think we've obeyed all of the rules. This is the first night, and this is what we've managed. We didn't have many options. We couldn't find glass, because we weren't near the desert. We got some boreal wood, though, and that helped us out definitely with the floor there. 
And what I might do in future, or what I could have done if I had a bit more boreal wood, is I could have just um, removed some of these grey bricks and replaced that with boreal wood as the floor for the second floor, because having stone as a floor on the second floor doesn't make too much sense. Also, what we could have done is we could have made some wooden planks, although I think we need a, a sawmill for that. Yeah, I don't see wooden beams here, and wooden beams would have been a great addition to our build. We also, with actuators, could have braced the roof, but again, this is the first night, and we don't have access to so many of the NPCs that we need to make cool buildings. But this is my first attempt. But there we go, we, we skip the time back to noon now, so you can see what it looks like in the glory of daylight. But the tiki torches inside as well give us enough light as a place for us to hide out. There we go though, the boreal wooden door though I'm happy with. And we got super lucky spawning next to one of those frozen biomes. But that's it! So if you want to build something yourself, give it a go. It's a week-long competition, and every week the theme changes. Like I said, this week's is what you can build in the first night. And I feel like we've got a pretty fancy looking swanky little, little house here. It's got two floors. Even Jeff feels at home, although I don't think this is technically uh, his house. Oh no, it is! It works for his house. Apparently um, this is somewhere he can live, so it doubles up as a place for the guy to live to. You know what? It's actually quite a cute build. With the fences outside, I think with a little bit more work, a couple more nights and a few finishing touches in the terms of glass, uh, windows, decorations, you could make this into a nice little sweet little cottage. So thanks for watching guys, hit subscribe, click the bell to make sure you get notifications for when I'm doing more videos. And, uh, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure, if you do take part in this competition, that you share what you've built with the Terraria Reddit. Make sure you make a post on that, uh, on that thread to show those guys what you've done, and maybe even compete in the competition. Also, if you want to tweet me your first night houses, I'd love to see them, because uh, I really want to see what you guys can do. I'm throwing down the gauntlet. Can you, can you beat this house? I hope so. Prove to me that you're awesome builders. So until next time, guys, take care.